Good afternoon, everybody. It's April Davis, PI. It is Friday, September 10th, 2021. In front of me here is a Guditama Loungefly, the Lazy Egg Mini Backpack. This was found in a thrift store for a fairly low price, which made me suspicious right away. Um, the bag, it feels right. It looks right. Uh, the zippers open and close very easily. Uh, the zippers are not stuck or rough. Uh, the zippers also have the, probably can't see it here, but the lounge fly imprint on them. As you see the imprint on the tag on the outside of the front of the bag. The inside of the bag for a used item looks very, very clean. It's very hard to see, but there are three tags in there. And one tag is the Guditama tag. The second tag behind that is the serial number tag. And the third tag is some sort of a caution tag. They also look authentic. The stitching on the inside of the bag, although hard to see on this camera, looks very authentic. It's not sagging. It feels thick. Um, the handles feel good. They don't feel light, but it appears, although I know it is a used bag, there appears to be some rips in the upper straps on both sides, but especially this strap on the left. I just think an expensive bag like this, these bags go for over $100 new. I don't think that the straps would rip that easily. Uh, if you look down, all the way down, this strap you can see a little bit of tearing on this side as well the left strap looks fine I also had noticed I can't see it now but there was like a little tear in the middle of one of these straps but now I don't even notice it must have been extremely minor but I did notice this right here and I noticed this up here I originally had this bag on eBay and I had 12 photographs because I wanted to be very detailed that this was not only uh, you know a used bag but that there appeared to be some damage. I then listed the same bag on another platform that only allowed four photographs and I was getting ready to take it down because I didn't feel that the four photographs would properly depict this bag as the 12 photographs depicted the bag on eBay. And right before I could take it down, um, a very nice young woman in Fresno, California purchased this bag. So, you know, I sent it. Of course, it's easily returnable if the customer is not 100% fully satisfied. The person did get the bag within two days. I sent it priority. And when she received it, she immediately sent a complaint to me about the condition of the straps. Um, and I kind of just had a bad feeling in my gut when I sent this. I did describe everything properly in the description, but because I was limited to the four photographs on the second platform, and I was just getting ready to take it down, being not comfortable with the only having the four photographs. Uh, I went ahead and I sent it to her. I hoped and wished and prayed for the best. And of course it bit me in the behind. The woman was actually quite nice about it. She actually gave me positive feedback. And that particular platform, my store has gotten a lot of attention since then, but it was really a bad, way to start out on a new platform because now instead of being ahead on the bag I'm deeply in the hole. Uh, the woman also did not know how to do the return label so she ended up paying for it herself. I ended up reimbursing her for the return label but now I won't be able to get my fees back from that platform and you know I really don't care about the money or the fees at this time. It is a lesson well learned probably shouldn't be reselling an item that I know nothing about. Luckily, the woman was wonderful. She was very friendly about it. She even offered to pay the shipping herself, but I felt it was the right thing to do to reimburse her. 
I have now put this bag on a Facebook group for uh, specifically lounge fly bags. It's more of a buy and sell type of group, but I did post some pictures and the first person that has responded has told me that they believe this bag is fully um, legit. Um, my thoughts were maybe it's not. I've watched multiple YouTube videos about this and I'm still in a quandary about it. Uh, Loungefly Company used to actually be local here in Southern California. They had a warehouse in Chatsworth, California. However, back in 2017, Loungefly sold to Funko Pop and the headquarters for Funko is in Everett, Washington. And if you call their phone number, sadly, Funko, they don't answer the phone. Um, I did get a, uh, a bot response to an email that I will hear from them in three to five days. But no, they don't have anybody that picks up the phone there. And they are open Wednesday through Sunday until 6 p.m. So here on the West Coast, uh, there should be somebody manning their phones there at this time of the day. But nope, I just had to send them an email and got the, the you know, artificial intelligence bot response that states they will contact me three to five days. But, you know, just looking at this bag, looking at the zipper, looking at the stitching on the inside of the bag, uh, looking at the stitching around the zippers, looking at the stitching everywhere this bag to me it looks and feels authentic i don't know if loungefly uses real leather or faux le leather hopefully it's it's vegan i believe that their products are fully vegan but i will have to check that because i don't like buying anything not even for reselling that has any leather products in it or in a, any animal products whatsoever but uh just by the looks of this in the condition of the top straps i'd really love to hear from you guys um shoot me some uh, information in the comments if you can let me know who's watching where you're watching from and do you think this bag is real or is it counterfeit i'd really love to uh get your opinions i will not be relisting this bag for sale on any reselling platforms until I can authenticate one way or the other that it is a legit Loungefly Tama bag. Um, well, this is it. I look forward to hearing from you guys. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. I've been getting a lot of viewers lately, but uh, the views don't really help if I don't have uh, subscribers to go with that. So I would appreciate subscribers, shares, likes comments uh like i said let me know where everybody's from and if you think this is uh real or fake did i get a good deal or uh maybe not let me know thanks bye